Hello and welcome to CJC Adventures. I'm Carl and today we're in Dudley in the Black Country, Britain's second largest town. And today we're going to look at a building that might not be there for very much longer. And that building is, well, basically just about ready to be maybe knocked down or has it got a future? Does Dudley's future include this building? And the building in question is the Dudley Hippodrome. Now the Dudley Hippodrome, it's been on the card for quite a long, long time. Is it going to stay? Is it going to go? It's been closed for quite a few years now, so a lot of people have like sort of protested, etc. But hmm, maybe not. As we look over in the skyline, you can just see the building in the distance, and that skyline may change sometime soon who knows we'll just take a look at Dudley Hippodrome today and on a beautiful sunny day it's forecasted rain for later so we're just going to go and take a look at Dudley Hippodrome or what's left of the building now all along here is what's known as the British Federal or what was owned by the factory that was known as the British Federal. There's another factory further on from here, but if you look around here, it's very ancient looking and you'd think it was in the countryside. But no, I think why it looks like this, it's very ancient and oldy weldy looking trees, etc. Because we have Dudley Castle just over that skyline there. Now, a lot of this round here was always known for limestone mining and fossil mining and things like that. Uh, finding fossils obviously for its day was a very big thing and it probably is now but not many fossils or limestone remaining that's all been dug out but around these times just a few years ago they actually found an ancient beach. How they found it I don't know. They must have roped down and had a look and and found this ancient beach. Would you believe you find a beach in the West Midlands? But it's true, they did find it, and it was right here in Dudley. Um, so someone, at some point, probably not the sort of beach that you would like when you go on your holidays, where you, you lie in the sun and lie by the sink over a paddle. Well, maybe it was at the time, but buried all underneath was something very ancient, and that was a beach. Unbelievable, but a very true story. Now there is a lot known about Dudley Hippodrome and its history and the Hippodrome was constructed on the site of the former Opera House. There was a big Opera House there which had been opened in 1899 but had been gutted by fire. That started in the early hours on the 1st of November 1936 and shortly after the Opera House was beyond repair and it was then knocked down because structure faults etc and Dudley thought well we'll build a new opera house so that was Dudley Hippodrome and the architect chosen for that was Archibald Hurley Robinson and the local contractor was AJ Crump and it was started to be built on the 23rd of August 1937 and the theatre opened on the 19th of December 1938 it had a circle and had seating for 1,750 people and the open ceremony was performed by local MP Dudley Joel. Yes, that's his name, even though we are in Dudley, he was named Dudley himself, so a bit of a coincidence there, wasn't it? Now the first act to perform at the Dudley Hippodrome 
obviously had to be someone, and it was by someone by the name of Jack Hilton and his band. Now shortly after the first performance, a few years later after the first performance, 1939, the owner, Benjamin Kennedy, died in 1939. Now the responsibility went over to his sons and some of his family, but of course ideas change over the years sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worst and it was just the start of the theatre being gradually opened and closed probably closed more than it was open over the years as we walk up this part this is what's known as Castle Hill or if you're from the Black Country it's pronounced Castle Hill Now over the last few years it has been documented that all the acts that played here, one of them more famously known as Laurel and Hardy, and they appeared here in May 1947. Now over the years the theatre suffered financial problems and in 1958 when it closed for several months and eventually reopening under new ownership in December that same year. The final stage show at the theatre occurred on the 24th of February 1964. Later the same year the theatre came under control of the Midland Entertainment Agency and the owner V Kendrick announced his intention to operate it as a casino. Over the years, it did continue to host things such as wedding receptions, wrestling, and they still had live acts here. But over time, the theatre became tired. But what a lot of people don't realise is the famous acts that appeared here. Some well, quite well known, and some have gone into history of being some of the greatest of all time. I'm sure you will have heard of various acts that hmm, played here. It's been a long time ago, but some of the acts, the main headliners include Bob Hope, Vera Lynn, George Formby, Tommy Cooper, Beryl Reed, Morecambe and Wise, Paul Anker, would you believe, Cliff Richard, he played here, Tommy Steele, Ken Dodd, The Bachelors, Mike and Bernie Winters, Des O'Connor, Tommy Cooper, as I mentioned, so we performed here actually twice, so that's one for the record box. You should have found of Tommy Cooper, that is. Bob Monkos, Gene Pitney played here, Frank Ifield, Frankie Vaughan, and the last singer to perform here, which is not very well known, to be honest, you do have to look into the history books. Um, was Roy Orbison, fantastic singer. He performed here and that was the last live show ever at the Hippodrome. Now the last ever use for this building was a bingo hall. Gala Bingo ran this and they ran it until 2009, until the building became known as, well, basically unsafe. And in 2009 it stood here, abandoned and empty. Now this is the front entrance of the theatre. A lot of people found ways to go in there, but to be perfectly honest, I'd like to have a look in there myself, but honestly, it is full of asbestos, and with Covid at the moment, you know, I don't really want to risk it, so if somebody said to me, come and have a look, I would, safety-wise, but to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't be all that fussed about going in, but there are lots and lots of pictures of what it looks like inside then, in its day, along with, you know, sort of other places as it used to be known. But to be honest, I really wouldn't like to go in there today. It looks a little bit 
run down and wrecked and they've actually put a poster or should I say like a, a bit of graffiti, a bit of tagging Lauren Hardy rest in peace by the stage which I think is a bit drab for the people who have gone in there and done that but that's up to them, that's, that's what they want to do but honestly the, the building itself I'd like to see it open, I really would, like everybody would but maybe it's had its day, I don't know I'll leave it for people of Dudley to decide and the people who are protesting to try and get this building reopened as a theatre. People have come across experts, um, celebrities, even Ken Dodd when he was alive a few years ago said, you know, it would be nice to open it but would it be viable? I don't know. I don't know. Time will tell and time has certainly told on this old historic theatre but maybe it would be nice to see it open, but maybe has it had its day? I don't know. We'll wait and see as time goes on. Looking all across here, obviously there's been protests of Save Our Hippodrome. Please save Dudley Hippodrome. And of course, uh, famous picture of Lauren Hardy. Now that's the most stupid thing you've ever seen or said, should I say. But the council wants to knock the Hippodrome down. They like theatres. No, save Dudley Hippodrome. It's quite sad really. We need you to help save the Hippodrome. That's the group of Trying to save the building. Save Hippodrome. Someone's probably put locks on there. Just to say, you know, give your support. Dudley needs a real entertainment venue. It has actually got Dudley Town Hall. So that's the state that it's in today. So sad really, but things. It's life, sadly. If you look at the side, it's in quite a bit of disrepair. It'll take quite a few million to get this right again, but maybe, maybe. As you can see, there's been a lot of graffiti on the building itself. Apparently there's even more inside. Again, I'd like to go inside, but safe structurally or health wise <laughs> I say it would take a lot for it to get back to the way it used to be and say so the signs there asbestos danger keep out there's actually a security man just a few yards from me just round that corner he's got a dog because a lot of people have sneaked in here and found ways in here so they do need security on here which is fair enough because if someone gets hurt of course it's going to be a, a bit of a how would you deal with accident claims and so forth more tagging more graffiti you can see there danger fragile roof strictly no access you can see just there so, I mean, really, if you look at the buildings around here, you know, a lot of people, you know, do want to see this building gone, probably more than not now, because of maybe it's in the way for new development, I don't know. But, to be honest, you know, it's, it's been looked at by professionals, millionaires, celebrities have come here, contractors, the theatre experts, they've come here, but, no, they've all said no. And just a matter of time now, maybe. You never know. Now as you can see there, there's actually new construction gone up. More steel erecting has popped up in Dudley. More finance, more money being spent here, which is nice because for a good few years no money was ever spent in Dudley that much, but now it has. And this is the new metro line, which was actually 
Dudley's railway station many, many years ago. The bridges are still there, the rail tracks are still there. They're obviously going to put new rail tracks down and it's going to be a brand new metro line which will go through Dudley to places like Merry Hill, uh, Birmingham, Wensbury, Warsaw, etc. Wherever the metro line goes. Um, and apparently that's the new station for the new metro line so you know if you ever come to Dudley in a few years time probably less than that you'll have a metro line to go around as well as a good bus service this is actually the another view of the new metro line lots of progress being made as you can see If you look just down there, you can actually see where the new railway lines are being placed. I think they're actually using the old lines, because if you look at the lines to the way they've put the footholdings to them, they've actually probably re-footed them or something, I don't know, to be honest. You know, are they going to use the old lines? Looks like they are. The power lines are there, they've fitted it all up. Hmm. Saves waste in it, I suppose. But. Uh, Good progress for Dudley, isn't it really? New metro line. Of course this here is the old railway bridge. So there's actually a massive drop down there if you look. I mean Dudley has got a lot of big drops and high it is a high point Dudley. I mean I always think if 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 anything was to flood Dudley it would be the actually last one to do that. Now the part that you can see there, and all over the back, that was one, once a football ground for Dudley Football Club. And they played Wolves back in the day, in the 1970s. Now, we had guest artists come there themselves, such as the Kinks various groups from the 60s, Manfred Mann came there and played and then they would play after they played a football game so you know you'd, you'd be watching famous footballers and famous pop stars which of course is is great you know but of course times change over there now you've got KFC you've got um, other, pl other places KFC, McDonald's picture house over there so you know progress has moved on and times have changed lots of progress being made holes being dug etc but of course I'm no architect so I don't know really what they're doing but they're actually it's probably part of the metro line now just over there that big black building is sort of a bluish whitish siding is going to be a new building. That's going to be something to do with the metro line. Nothing's been announced as yet, though. And uh, you know, when things aren't announced the way they should be, eventually there will. There'll be some sort of ceremony opening and whatever like there normally is. Of course, back in the day when the Hippodrome was in full swing, there was ceremonies and openings and things like that. But of course, you know, we have to move forward. We can't go back, we have to move forward, that is the main thing. One last look at the Hippodrome. Will it be one last look? Or will it be one look that may be and keep looking at? Who knows? Again, be nice, but is it financially viable? I'd like to see it open. But is it possible in this day and age? Of course, you've got theatres such as the Grand Theatre in Wolverhampton, the NIA, the NAC, etc., the Symphony Hall in Birmingham. You know, back then you didn't, you had theatres, but not so many. Actually, a really nice walk along here, especially on a day like this. It's always 
nice and enjoyable. This is the actual back part of Dudley Zoo in Kessel, otherwise known as just Dudley Zoo. That's the actual tropical house. You're all tropical birds, lizards, etc. And that's it for today on CJC Adventures. Hope you enjoyed this insight and the best history that I could give you about one of Dudley's most famous abandoned theatres, Dudley Hippodrome. If you like this channel, please subscribe, click on the subscribe icon and then click on the bell. You'll be notified when the next video is uploaded. It is free. There's no financial obligation. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That's also free. It makes me feel like okie dokie K. And I'll see you in the next video. Look after yourselves and take care of each other.